New Appium Integration with pCloudy You can now simplify your Appium test automation runs on Android and iOS devices with a new and simpler pCloudy Appium integration architecture. The newer architecture makes developers' life simpler with lesser changes in the code during integration. You just need to mention some desired capabilities instead of calling APIs or doing changes in the code to run the Appium scripts. And guess what? It makes your integration effort much easier. Let's have a look at the prerequisites. First thing we need is an Appium script, an APK or IPA file, and a valid pCloudy account. Now, let's see the basic steps to replace your local Appium driver to pCloudy Appium driver. For this, you first need to upload the APK IPA from your local system to pCloudy. Next step is to set pCloudy capabilities, like pCloudy username. Enter the email ID with which you have registered on pCloudy. pCloudy API key. API key is important for users' verification. pCloudy application name. Enter the application name for the APK IPA file which you already uploaded on the drive. pCloudy duration in minutes. Enter the duration in minutes for which you want to run the test. pCloudy device full name. If you know the device manufacturer, device name, and version, then enter the full device name. Next step is to replace local endpoint to pCloudy Appium endpoint as the given web link and create the Appium driver object and run the tests. For this demo, we are going to see a use case of running Appium scripts on pCloudy devices. The example we are taking here is Appium Test NG in Java format. To get started, you can download the sample projects available on our GitHub location, where we have sample projects for various languages like Ruby, Python, .NET, etc. Most probably, you will have your projects in Eclipse or Android Studio. Here, we are exporting the sample project in Eclipse. We will select the sample project to run parallel tests on iOS devices in this demo. Go to the driver script, which in this case is runner.java. You can find your local driver script here. In order to replace your Appium driver to pCloudy Appium driver, you need to add a small piece of code to set the desired capabilities right. For this, go to device.pcloudy.com and log in using your registered email ID. Go to Device page and click on Capabilities. Select your desired location, OEM and device and version from the drop-down list and click on Submit. The selected desired capabilities will appear on the right of the screen. Copy the selected capabilities and paste it onto your code to set your desired capabilities. Another change required is in the test.xml parameters. Provide the device name for another device required to run the tests in parallel. For this example, we run the tests on iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 Plus. Let's run this code as test ng suite, and you will see the progress in remote console and at the same time, you can monitor the test runs in live view page. Go to the Active Session tab under Report and click on Live View icon. Now you can see the test runs happening live on remote devices. Once the test is done, you can see a comprehensive report for each device under All Reports. You can see reports with battery chart, memory chart, screenshots, videos, logs for both the devices. This covers Appium runs on two parallel iOS devices, but you can run your tests on a number of devices together on both Android and iOS devices. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch detailed videos for other features like Automation Studio, Device Connect, Follow Me, iOS Recorder, etc. Find detailed pCloudy knowledge base articles from our help documentation. You can also talk to our support team using live chat. Hope this video helps you run parallel tests using Appium on pCloudy seamlessly. Thanks for watching.